Hello and welcome to my latest Top Tips episode. Today, I want to talk about that exciting bit of the buying process when the property finally becomes yours. Completion. Completion is when the property legally changes hands and your money is transferred through to the seller. It's the end of what can be a, a rather long process. Um, so it's worth knowing exactly what's involved because sadly things can still go wrong even at this late stage. They do go wrong on the day of completion. I've seen it happen. Key to minimizing the risk of problems on completion day is, um, is really having a good solicitor. Someone who's thinking ahead, who's being proactive and working hard on your behalf. If you need one of those, we can help. Get in touch with our panel of experts through the link with this feature. Late payments are a common reason for completion being delayed. It doesn't happen lots, but you don't want it to happen to you, believe me. If the money transfer hasn't started by 3 p.m., it's unlikely to have gone through by the end of the working day. And then you would have to wait until the next day in order to complete and collect the keys. That is a major headache if all your belongings are on the back of the removal lorry. If you're in a chain and one of the sales either above or below you falls through at the last minute, the reality is all proceedings come to a shuddering halt. So completion day I've heard described as squeaky bum time and that's why. Make sure that you've calculated all of the costs very carefully. Miscalculated budgets are another reason that completion sometimes gets delayed. If someone hasn't done their sums right, believe me, it happens. It's extremely annoying. You don't want it to happen to you. And finally, buyer-seller disputes can also mean things don't go to plan if it all blows up at the last minute. So how to avoid that? Be very clear what's included in the price and have all of your queries settled well before completion day. You want to understand that fixes and fittings list. The date for completion is usually decided between the buyer and the seller via the solicitors. That date needs to be on a normal working day so that the funds can be cleared by the bank. Remember, the date has to be agreed up and down the whole chain. In theory, you can exchange and complete on the same day, but that certainly adds pressure to an already stressful experience and I wouldn't recommend it in the slightest leaving at least a week between exchange and completion uh, would ensure that the move is definite. You can book your removal men and you can kind of be there with confidence. What standard timing? I, I guess standard would be a month between exchange and completion. Uh, but I've also seen delayed completions of six months to nine months even. Key thing here, remember that the date has to suit everybody up and down the chain and that is precisely why it can get complicated because rest assured there's bound to be someone in the chain who's having a baby getting married starting a new job or a new term at school something like that you get the picture there are kind of pinch points that some people will have to work through and to up and down the chain on the actual completing day itself Make sure you know who's going to have your keys once you get the go-ahead that the money is through. Will it be your solicitor? Will it be the seller? Will it be the estate agent? You want to be able to pick the keys up as soon as the money's through. Finally, at long last, the money's through, you picked up the keys, you've opened the door, you're there. The house is yours. I think that's a really special moment. So stop and enjoy it, savour it. Crack open the champagne, you've worked damn hard. To get there and you probably won't experience that moment too many times it's your own little piece of the united kingdom it's very special do please join me again for the next in this series of property advice